Caitlin and in today's video I'm going to be testing out some popular beauty hacks. So let's get started with number one. So for hack number one, all you need to do is flip all your hair over, brush it all out, tie it with a bobble and you have the perfect pony. But I don't think this really works on people with thick hair as you only really see people with thin hair doing this. So I'm going to try it out and see if it works on people with thick hair as my hair is really thick. Okay, so I'm going to have to give this hat a massive thumbs down, especially if you have thick hair because it really does not work unless you have a lot of hairspray. Ow! Okay, and it's probably really painful to take it out. So hack number two is hopefully better than the last hack and it's basically where you can curl your eyelashes without having to use an eyelash curler and all you need is your typical mascara and all you do is go down on your eyelashes then up instead of going just straight up like normal so I'm going to try this out and I'm not sure how this works but let's find out so as you can see here I'm applying the thick and fast mascara I'm going to apply it on this side normal and this side using the hack Okay, so I really can't actually see a difference in this if we're getting that whole mess. So strangely enough, this has actually kind of worked and I'd actually try this again because if I like go to the side, you can kind of tell. But that, surprisingly that works. So I'm gonna give that hack a big thumbs up despite my terrible mascara mishaps. Does this come off? Ow, that really hurts. So thankfully the third hack doesn't involve mascara involves eyeliner and I'm even worse at eyeliner than I am mascara so oh no so this is basically where you stick a piece of tape on your eye the skin around your eye where you want your wing and you just draw it on and it won't smudge or anything or go where you don't want it and it'll be the perfect wing if I can find the end so this doesn't sound painful at all. I just said ow for no reason. 
Hopefully they're not eyelashes come off. Is that too high? Oh. So again, I'm going to do this eye with the hack and this eye normal. So just in case you're wondering what I'm staring at, as you can see in the top right corner, there is a little silver thing and that is the mirror because I don't want to poke my eye out because I'm very likely to do that. So I'm not sure if I'd do this hack again because I suck at eyeliner but I do prefer this one. Tell me which one you prefer in the comments but I actually really like this wing. I just connected it to the tip of my eyebrow and I quite like it apart from everything else that's going on and most of it went on my eyelashes. So, and this one isn't even really a wing, it's just a really curved line, so yeah. So I guess I'll give this hack a thumbs up as it did improve the wing of my eye, but I just stuck at eyeliner so this is a thumbs up. So the next hack is basically where you get a spoon and you contour under the spoon line when you place it on your cheek. And I'm really bad at contour as well but not as bad as everything else. So here I'm using the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. Plus for this hack, I'm using the second darkest shade, which is the shade in the middle. Oh, that's cold. I'm right-handed, so I'm having to do this with my left. So now I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm going to give this hack a thumbs up as I did use a too dark shade of contour and I did go a little bit further out but I reckon with quite a bit of practice this would actually turn out all right but that side's a little bit lower please tell me which side you prefer in the comments whether it be this side or this side and in case you didn't know for that contour hack I actually use an eyelash brush so that could count as another hack as well as it actually works just quite the same for this next hack you just apply your normal lipstick and you put on some translucent setting powder onto it and it makes it appear matte but I don't have any translucent setting powder so I'm going to try it with flower instead. So here you apply any lipstick you like just how you do normally. So now 
that that's done, you apply the flour, which should be translucent setting powder, but we're going to try it with flour because we're awesome. Okay, so this looks like it's actually worked and my lips do feel super dry and they don't taste very nice but it does actually look matte like from where I'm looking it looks more matte than it might do on camera but I'm gonna have to give this one in the middle mainly because I didn't have any translucent setting powder but it did make them look more matte and flour could be a cheaper alternative if you don't have any so yeah, I'm going to keep this in the middle. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I, I'm going to regret this. So half of it missed. So this neck hack is apparently a way to get easy beach curls by just twisting it like so and applying heat to it. So I'm going to try this and put the straighteners on it and hope for the best. Yes, I accidentally said neck hack. Don't judge me. So that proves that they're on. So we've got to wait for them to heat up. Is it just me who touches it to see if it's heated up and regrets it every time but never learns? They're taking ages to heat. So now I'm taking a section of my hair to apply heat on and to hopefully get a beach curl. I'm scared of burning my hair right now. On my hand. Ah. Oh, I've held it here for a few seconds and I'm gonna let go. Where's this beach curl at? Oh, that's actually quite nice. Whoa. Oh. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to give this hack a thumbs down as the curls don't last long and they fall out super easy and it's a high risk of burning your hair as you'll have to hold it on a really long time so yeah this is a thumbs down. So for the final hack all you need to do is paint your nails as normal and then at the end you dip them in freezing cold water and apparently it dries them within seconds so Again, I don't know how this is going to work, but hopefully it does work because that will really help me out as no one likes waiting for the nails to dry. So I'm going to paint my nails red and put them in the water. this hand and I'm now going to dip it in the water. So I filled my sink with really cold water and now I'm going to dip my nails into it. Oh that's cold. Yeah. You're meant to hold it in for around 20 seconds. So one, two, three, twenty. Okay, so I'm now going to feel them. They are actually bone dry. Like wow. There's no fingerprints on them or anything. 
I would definitely suggest you do this hat because, whoa. Look how shiny they are. So I went ahead and did that hat straight away on my other hand and I don't really care that my hands are freezing because my nails are really shiny, they're really smooth, no fingerprints or anything and they dried within seconds and I was just really surprised so I'm going to give this one a big thumbs up. So thank you for watching my video today, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you try any of these hacks out please let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video, bye! Should I go out in public like this?